Hey guys, it's Gus, and if you didn't know, the Tame Velociraptor is the strongest equip bonus in the game. It gives you up to 18.75% power, which is great for all classes in all roles. It's great for tanks for threat, it's great for healers for um, healing, and it's great for DPS for doing damage. The problem with the Tame Velociraptor is a lot of min-max players are starting to go away from it because there's so many sources of stats in the game that we can build a stronger build without a raptor. So some of those players are asking, what am I going to put in the raptor spot? You know, most of my builds don't use any stat companions, but I have this for testing right now. So we have a couple of choices. In utility, there's not a lot. I'm running the Celestial Lion's Presence. It's not very good, but we don't really have a lot of things to pick from. And in the Universal slot where I would normally put the um, Tame Velociraptor, we don't have a lot of damage sources either. We have like uh, the Netherese Anarchist. But another one is the Spiteful Presence that comes from the Blaspheme Assassin. And it's very similar to the Celestial Lion's Presence. The Celestial Lion's Presence is 50% chance on companion power use to apply a stack of Celestial Lion's Presence. And that can only occur once every 15 seconds. So this does have about a 60% uptime, but when it's up, every one of your damage sources are increased or you get an extra damage proc of 7.5% on top of your damage. And damage procs, if you didn't know, are very good. It's raw damage. So Spiteful Presence is very similar. 50% chance on companion power use to apply Spiteful Presence. Instead of 7.5% damage, you get 6%. But you also get 5.62% crit severity. Which I know a lot of people are capped on crit severity, but I'm usually short like 1% or so. So I wouldn't mind that extra 1% crit sev. But it's really about the damage. The 6% additional damage for me. So both of these are 50% chance on compa uh, companion power used to apply it. But they're not. One of them's working exactly how the tooltip says, and the other is not. So let's take off the uh, Spiteful Presence from the Blaspheme Assassin and put on the Celestial Lion. We're going to summon this guy. And we're going to attack to get our companion in combat. And remember, when your companion... T well, I guess I got to summon a companion first. Doi. So... Let's go ahead and summon, um, let's just summon Dritz. So we're going to get Dritz in here. We're going to attack, get Dritz in combat. Now watch the combat log. You're going to see that, there you go. So it's going to be up for 10 seconds. And once it's down, it's going to have about a 5 second downtime. And then you have a 50% chance each time the companion hits to proc it again. So it's really only down in like five seconds, and you're gonna see it come up in just a second or two. There you go. So it's gonna be I uh, stick drift. So that celestial lion's presence is amazing. Why? I'll show you what it does if you didn't know. So we have about five seconds of downtime, and one sec, it's gonna come. Mhm. Mm there you go. Now when I attack, you're going to see two damages come off this. The initial hit and the damage proc. So 26.86 and 1.34. That 1.34 was from the Celestial Lion Presence. And it works amazing. It actually works on your daily too. So if your daily hits for like 5 million, add another 7.5% on top of that. It's really good. It doesn't work on the mount bonus. But as you can see, it's very consistent. It's going to be up for this 10 seconds. It's going to go down for about five or six seconds and it's going to come right back up so you can almost count your head and dritz is a very fast attacking companion so the celestial lion will have a really high uptime there you go so let's get rid of this bum well there's one problem with the celestial lion presence if you have an augment companion your companion will never attack 
And you remember, in order for the Celestial Lion to work, your companion has to attack. So let me just show you this because it's going to lead into the next companion. So we can sit here all day long. Let me get in combat. And our companion will never attack because he's an augment. And I have my fastest head on rapid strike. And you won't see Celestial Lion's presence ever activate. Ever. Not one single time. So it, that's exactly what the tooltip says. Exactly what you paid for. So let's take off them. Let's go back to Dritz. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to take off the Celestial Alliance Presence. I'll just put on some random defensive one. And let's go to Spiteful Presence from the uh, Blaspheme Assassin. Okay, remember, 50% chance on companion use. So remember, the Celestial Alliance Presence is the exact same thing. And its debuff will be like the skull. Let's get in combat. Will be like the skull symbol. And we can wait here all damn day. And we probably won't see it. <laughs> this is horrible. Remember that 50% chance of your companion's attacks will proc this. Which is... Uh, it's a very high chance. And he's attacking like crazy. So it should be up right now. You notice it's not up. At all. It's not activating. But watch what happens when I attack. So let's just unsummon this companion. Uh, well, I gotta get out of combat to do that. So let's get rid of him. I'm gonna uns I'm gonna summon him. Now remember, just to reiterate, fifty percent chance on companion power use. So your companion has to attack to proc this. That's why it never worked with the augment, and that's why with Dritz it was up so much. Watch what happens when I attack. Spiteful presence dealing additional damage is necrotic damage. Look at that. So it's up and we're what now it's down. Now we're gonna wait like five or so seconds. And then I'll have a fifty percent chance of activating it again. And I've been playing I've been telling people this is dog shit because it's broken. Well it it's broken because it doesn't match the tooltip. And also that fifty percent chance of activating is complete horse shit too. There you go. So we'll wait till this ends. Right there, spiteful presence, and it works just like the tooltip says. You'll see two damages, 23k and 937. I know people are going 937 is nothing. Well, we'll just wait till you start hitting for millions. Those things hit for tens or hundreds of thousands. Okay, there we go. Activated right there, spiteful presence. And I don't even have a companion, right? I don't even have a companion now. So spiteful presence is working. But it's not working when your companion attacks. It att procs when we attack. Which is really good because if you're trying to save it for an artifact call, you can't control when your companion attacks, but you can control when you attack. So this actually has potentially better use than the, um, than the uh, Celestial Lion's presence. Okay, we'll wait a couple of seconds and watch this. There it goes. Right there, first hit. <laughs> We'll wait till it ends, wait five seconds, and you're going to see it's like a 50% uptime. Which is crazy, because I'll show you what happens when you use like your daily, right? So I'm going to get um, let me get my um, combat log cleared out. So we had five seconds, so let's get it activated. Two, three, four, there we go. So it's activated, let's use our daily. So our daily hit for 750,000. That spiteful presence was for 30,000. Um, it was actually 45,000 pre-mitigated. And the daily was for 1.125 million. Ooh. But if you do the math, it will be... What it is is that 6% will be on the mitigated hit, not the pre-mitigated. And then the proc can is also... Um, prone to mitigation, but it's also prone to pr uh, buffs as well. So the Celestial Lion's presence is working, but not like the tooltip says. It's working on your power use, not your companion power use. And it messed up my testing so bad with it, because I really like this thing. So we're going to go like this, just so you can see, just in case you don't own them, you can read. 
50% chance on companion power use, 50% chance on companion power use, but it's not. This is 50% chance on your power use, and this one is 50% chance on your companion power use. Just to, just to help confirm, I'm going to do an augment companion, right? An augment companion does not attack at all. It literally can attack, unfortunately. So we're going to summon it. I have my um, icosahedron on. That's the red dot going around in my head. So it can't attack, and there's spiteful presence that procs when your companion attacks. So that clears up that mystery. Well, there you go. Stay class, never winner. See you soon.